Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in this video, we are going to talk about that. Do we have any record and play tool with the test trigger? Yes, we do have that. There is a Chrome extension available for the test trigger so that you can just record your script in the plain English and then you can edit it, you can update it and then you can run it also there and you can automatically add it in your current test suite or any test suite. Let's see how to do that. So first of all, the major problem we were talking about, you know, earlier also that every time we have to write the manual script. For example, let's see if I open any test which recently got created documentation and then we have to write the uh, steps over here like this that enter and then the actual value in the double code into this is the field name and then click scroll and everything. This is what we have to write. What if this 80, 90 percent things I can just generate through the recorder? And then after that, I can just update it according to my requirement and then or according to my actual test steps and then I can just simply rerun it. So at least a lot of work and a lot of um, manual stuff, I can easily save it over here because I don't want to write all these script. I'm really poor in writing the things, right? So I just want to generate and then update the scripts accordingly. This is a simple idea behind that. So I'll do one thing. I'm going to create, let's see, one simple test suite here. The test suite name that I'm going to write, let's see. This is my recording test, which application that you are going to use. So I'm going to use this simple, any application you can use it. That doesn't matter. I'm going to use this application. I don't want to supply any username, password, OS. Let's say I'm going to supply Windows, Chrome one, number of test cases using AI. No, I don't want to generate any AI based test cases. Simple click on create test suite here, right? Now you see that the recording test case is generated. Generally what we do, click on add test case and then start writing the test there. I don't want to write any plain English sentences over here. I want that I record it and then automatically update it here, right? So for that, what we have to do, simple search for test rigor, Chrome extension tool. Okay, or there's a Chrome extension available. Search for uh, test rigor Chrome extension or test rigor test case recorder is the actual name. You can go to the Chrome Web Store, search for this particular string and then simple click on add to Chrome. When I click on add to Chrome, click on add extension. Within few seconds, it will be updated and added here. After that, you can just simple pin it. It's visible here. That's it. After that, you go back to your main page. This is the main uh, starting of the page that I really want to start. So now I just need to click on this and then let's start the recording. So simple, it will enable this start new recording green button and then see, I'm going to click on it. Once I click on it, you see that it has started blinking and now whatever I'm doing here, it will start recording it. So let's see here, I'm just simple entering my user. This is the password here. And then after that, click on login. And I don't want to save this password. And then after that, I really want to search something. So let's see, I'm searching for MacBook and then click on search icon. I slightly scroll down, click on MacBook Pro and then enter the quantity as let's see 10 here and then click on add to cart, right? Then let's again search for something else. Let's see for iMac and click on search icon and then slightly scroll down, click on this iMac product and update the quantity as let's see five here and click on add to cart once again here. After that, I simply say click on my account and then go to logout and then click on login page again back to the login page and that's it so this is my overall script after that i click on it and then i click on the stop recording from here so once it shows me the stop recording and then done and here you see that the whole script is actually getting generated here you can just simply press ctrl a and save it or what you can do it says choose your test suite in which test suite you really want to so because we have already logged in, so it will automatically take that, okay, in which test suite you really want to save it. I simply say I have already created my recording test and uh, description is about, let's see, this is my search test. This is the functionality of this particular test, search test and click on add and run. When you click on add and run, it will automatically will be see added over here without any problem. I'll do one thing, just simple open that here. And uh, here you can simply click on cancel the retest. I click on quick edit. Now you see that whatever we have recorded, the entire script is coming here. I'll do one thing, unnecessary things that hover on this, remove that. I directly start with, this is my username, enter my password, click on login, enter MacBook into search, right? And see, it is actually did not record one thing because after entering the MacBook into search, what I did, 
see i entered macbook into search i was clicking on it or maybe you can press enter also it it did not get triggered i mean it did not get captured over here you see that a simple enter macbook into search and after that is searching the clicking on the product but we have to do what we have to write press enter also like this is just a keyword so can we have the keyword let's see in the documentation so simple search for let's see uh, keywords and then you can just simple go with the keyword and the keyboard actions also you can use it better you search with the keyboards actually not keywords so let's see the keyboard is this one you see that press keyboard and it says type enter this is the string that you have to enter here instead of press enter sorry type enter let's see you have to do it and then after that you simply use macbook pro add to cart again enter imac into search i can remove this roughly below this number because it's actually checking checking see this roughly below this number and then enter the macbook pro exactly taking the you know the position of this macbook where exactly it's positioned on this particular page so i simply say no no need to check because this number can be different right tomorrow so i don't want to create unnecessary you know positioning dependency here again i come back here and uh, i'll say enter this and then do what and then do this type enter and then click on macbook i mean imac enter 5 into the quantity add to cart roughly above this one no i don't want that and then after that click on my account on the right of this number no click and log out and click on login once again and that's it right so let's see is it really working or not so you see that writing the 16 lines of code or 20 23 lines of code or write of a script it will take time so better you just quickly generate it and then whatever you want to update or enhance or edit anything you can just simply easily do that and update and retest here you don't need to write any you know logic or any complex code simple plain english sentence it will generate in fact it can be used for your manual uh, test cases point of view also right like you can just simply copy this you can update the manual uh, test cases in your zero or any tool that you are using it all right so let's see is it uh, really running it says that okay yeah the test case are being executed and now it actually started here and then as it is it is actually running it here although we have not added any assertion but we can add it here but see there is one issue it did not capture the scrolling part can you notice see it's showing that okay fine it's searching for macbook and the macbook related products are coming so i really wanted to click on this macbook pro see it's not visible so i'm sure it will be failed right what i'm talking about that after searching for the macbook over here and uh, this is not visible when i record it it was able to click on it but it's running over here see it says i cannot find the element descriptor macbook pro why because it's not visible to me if it is not visible how can i click so we have to do what we have to page scroll down we have to use it here so for scrolling what should i do let's quickly go to their documentation see i love their documentation it's super simple see scroll you can check it over here and see scroll down on the right panel scroll down on the left panel scroll down by half of the screen that also you can use it see i can use this one scroll down until page contains this that also you can just use it over here or scroll down contains link exactly contact us that also you can use it so let me just try this one click on quick edit because we really want to do wanted to click on macbook pro so before that i simply say uh scroll page down until exactly contact uh, uh contains link exactly contact us so i really want to scroll up to this particular contact us now all these products are properly visible and then click on it right so this same line i'll just copy this and uh, after that also i'm just going to use it over here as well now let's simple update in the retest once again right so these are the what i'm saying it will not capture 100 percent things what if it is missing then you can always update and you can add from your side and then make sure that okay you're writing the exact steps over here so these are the small small things in automation it matters because in manual testing what we can do we can just simple manually scroll up and down but here in automation we have to give the instructions just like we do it in selenium and the playwright so now you see that let's see is really scrolling down after the search or not nice can you see that after the search okay let it complete and then i'll show you see it's super fast and then absolutely working fine and then enter five into the quantity 
And uh, finally, we said that, okay, click on log out. And again, after clicking on login and the overall test got passed here, you see that passed here. So what I was talking about that, see this, it says click on MacBook Pro, but before that it says search for MacBook and then scroll until you see that until page contains link exactly contact us. So see, it is highlighting this element also saying that, yes, we have completely scrolled down and now I really want to click on MacBook Pro. So now you see the next one, it is actually clicking on the MacBook Pro. You see that clicking action. It's, can you see the draw a rectangle here? And then after that, then again after macbook and then again see this add to cart quantity and everything and then searching for imac again scroll down up to the contactors clicking on imac see beautifully generated and then absolutely working fine here after that if you really want to write any um you know any script or any assertion also that also you can write it here so assertion that we have already seen n number of assertions you can just simple search for check and then see this check that URL contains, check that file is downloaded. So many assertions are available with the check. You can just simply use it over here, right? So check that the page contains this or not. That also you can use it. Check that page contains add to cart like this. So n number of assertions are available. You can start using it over here, right? And then after that, simple up validate and save and your test is ready for that. Again, you click on, <clears throat> nothing to click on add test case. Again, you, uh, you know, record once again, click on it and then record a second scenario and then again, update it and then again, use it. So within like few hours, you can add N number of test cases and your automation script is actually ready for that. That's why I really liked it. Not much editing. Okay. It's not like we have to design a full flesh framework kind of thing here, just like we do it in other code, uh, code base automation tool. Because other, let's see if you're using Selenium ID or any playwright recorder, then it will just simply give you the plain sentences, like plain script, not sentences. And then after that, we have to rewrite those reusable functions and then design a proper framework, design patterns, data driven approach and all those things. We have to use it here. Also, we can use it. But here is a game of what the plain English sentences you can simple generate and then start using it. Your script is ready within a few seconds. That's it. So I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel start using this particular test trigger tool if you really want to get the 15 percent of the license fee there is a discount is going on through naveen automation labs i provide this utm link which is available in the description of the video and the first comment of this video click on it showcase this poc and to the management in fact you can start using it for the next 14 days trial version you can use it and if you really like it i think it's a really great tool for the automation purpose point of view uh with the AI along with the codeless automation tool. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.